until the actual scientific data has proven that, you know, secondhand smoke is actually carcinogenic. I don't really believe it. Even though Paul Clayton thinks that he's not endangered by secondhand smoke, experts say the long-term and short-term effects are a grim reality. Secondhand smoke is so harmful that the EPA says it's not safe at any level. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, secondhand smoke contains more than 250 toxic chemicals, 50 of which are cancer-causing. The American Lung Association says that about 3,000 Illinois residents die each year as a result of secondhand smoke. Nationwide, the number of deaths increases to more than 38,000 people. It's believed that secondhand smoke, as well as smoking itself, can lead to the development of emphysema and other lung disease. Sounds silly, but I have a cat with a respiratory problem, and my vet said, please don't smoke inside. On January 1st, Illinois goes smoke-free in restaurants, bars, and workplaces. And the reason Illinois is going smoke-free is in large measure to protect the workers. If I was concerned about that, or I thought that it would be put something that would potentially be detrimental to my health, I would choose to get another job. The Illinois General Assembly says that secondhand smoke is the third leading cause of preventable death in the United States. Because of the Smoke-Free Illinois Act, workers who are constantly exposed to secondhand smoke will avoid the health risks associated with cigarette smoke. Afric says smoking is both a chemical and behavioral addiction, and it takes people six or even seven attempts to quit. People who have been addicted to other drugs, such as cocaine and heroin, have said that being addicted to nicotine and cigarettes is almost as bad as those drugs. And I guess I'll quit when I have kids myself. I'm on my fifth time trying to quit and uh, not too successful. The best advice is assume that it's bad and minimize your exposure to secondhand smoke. I'm Mary Elizabeth Medawar, reporting for Columbia College.